So the direction of the New Zealand health system is towards an integrated health system. It's to support primary care, to support earlier intervention, to keep people out of long-term care and keep people out of hospitals. In terms of the IT infrastructure, the Ministry has set a direction that says use SNOMED as part of our core infrastructure and they've enabled it into the system. We've actually taken the data that already exists in our system and then used a tool which is called HCAS, which uses natural language processing to SNOMED code what we already knew. Now that gives us a huge leap forward because we've been able to demonstrate to clinicians the power of having those SNOMED codes. So we have built a capability to deliver to our health system exactly what's happening now, what's going to happen today, and then also you started to plan what are we going to do in the future. We also use our data and our analytics such as SNOMED to enable us to understand exactly why people are ending up in our health system and that enables us to design responses that means that we can intervene earlier in the process of care and reduce that opportunity. Now we can use SNOMED to attach to the appropriate clinical phrases a SNOMED code so now you can start to identify cohorts of people and pull them out and have a look. Ah, so what happened for this group of people? One of the great things about SNOMED is that it's this hierarchical um, coding system. So we put the best match that we can on the pathway. But we don't have to find every possible match. Um, when another system comes in and says, have you got a pathway connected with this? Our search engine can actually walk up and down that hierarchy to find um, any related pathways that we have. So that's been a really um, real advantage of using SNOMED. I think another advantage of using SNOMED has been that it has these synonyms. So um, the medical profession is great at coming up with new names for things. There's a lot of duplication and redundancy in terminology. And in the past, we had to actually go through our pathways manually and put keywords on them so that people could find them. Um, with SNOMED we get all of those synonyms. And it's actually enabled us to identify specific case mixes that otherwise would take someone a long time to manually try to obtain the data. So the, the international standards available to us including principally SNOMED CT are standards which have reached a level of maturity and they're standards which are frameworks, if you like, for working within that you can build a community around. The area that's less well developed is how we use that structured data coming out. So SNOMED CT is, a, uh, is not a single hierarchy or classification system and because of that uh, we are now faced with how do we then create the tools that are going to enable us to create patient cohorts using the hugely diverse and comprehensive uh, data that's coming out using SNOMED CT. You know what you see if you look forward machine learning, artificial intelligence, automation is really where we need to go to relieve us of some of the repetitive and low value added tasks that we have to do manually and so to do that we have to have good quality data. So if you really want SNOMED to work for you then you have to use the analytical side of it to actually say okay now we know this what are we going to do about it? How are we going to make it better? How are we going to make a difference? And I think a lot of people and a lot of systems have grown up in a system where coding was more about revenue and billing and claiming rather than the insight that you need to make a health system work better and work more safely.